Dr. Godfrey, I knew him uh, approximately for the first ten, the last ten years when he when he came here. The most important thing I, I thought about uh, Larry Godfrey was we all we all came from different backgrounds, but he had this special ability where he was able to marry and respect all those other points of view. He was one gentleman who, if there was need for other people, uh, he put us in front where his need was more than ours. And there are very, very few people in the world with that kind of an approach. We all know that Dr. Godfrey was in fact one of a kind. It is true that many times throughout life, we don't know what obstacles that we may face. But the one thing that we can rely upon is the persons who we encounter each and every day, who make us feel that these obstacles is something that, not only that we can overcome them, but we are not alone. And Dr. Godfrey is in fact one of those persons who made each and every one of us feel this way. But he just meant so much to me, I, I don't have words to say. I'm gonna miss all of his corny jokes and lines. He was like a grandfather to me. A grandfather, I, ne I never knew any of my grandfathers, so he was like a grandfather. And I've known him from the time he's been here. We've always been close. And I'm still trying. But it's, it's a bit hard for me. I am very happy that he served as that bridge between then and the now. I am happy that he embraced every nurse that is willing to talk with him without any prejudice, without any barrier or limits. He will just speak with you. I am happy in myself that I have met Dr. Godfrey. Dr. Godfrey will see the children, he will talk to them, to the children, to the people around. He will make jokes with them, he will dance. And then he will wiggle his ears to people. He makes the ears move, so we don't know how he does it. Working with him, it was a pleasure. He taught me a lot. And since he came here, we have diagnosed a lot of patients with different types of cancers. He was a kind man, hardworking, intelligent. Don't grieve for me, for now I'm free. I'm following the path God has laid, you see. If my parting has left a void, then fill it with remembering joys. A friendship shared, a laugh, a kiss. Oh yes, these things I will miss. In his mind, this was his mission. So deeply entrenched within his spirit and his soul was his dedication to this hospital because he knew that we needed him. He knew that we relied upon him. And he was worried for us even then. Okay? So may his soul rest in peace, condolences, and we're here to support ourselves and help ourselves to manage this loss of this wonderful, remarkable person. I wanted you for life, you and me in the wind. I never thought there'd come a time that our story would end. It's hard to understand, but I guess we'll have to try. It's not easy to say goodbye.
my soul.